Hello, it's Jeremdo510, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to animate a light cycle and how to make the light come off it. Which you know, it's light cycles from Tron, and if you didn't, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, first, we're going to be doing this in a range of different software. It will come up on the left side in about a few seconds. So, I'll see you after you know what you're going to be using. Oh, it's Jared if I want to, as you know, and I'm going to be showing you how to animate a bike. Well, you know, those are uh, light, uh, light bikes out of uh, light cycles out of uh, Tron. To do this, we would use 3ds Max or Maya. However, I'm going to use iClone. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm going to use iClone because 3S Max just takes too long and it's time consuming and Mayo I don't really know how to use. So if you want any help with those two I can just post below the video and I will try and help. So we're going to iClone. If you don't have iClone do it in 3DS Max but try and follow what I'm doing. As you can see we've already got uh, my um, thing up already and I will be going into uh, set for the start, sorry stage, for the start 2D background and I'm clicking active and black to make the black background and then we also need 3D exchange so that we can uh, get on. After that you need to go to Google, go up here, type in Tron, after you get Tron you get this light cycle After that, it will import, and as you can see, as you can see, we've got the light cycle on the floor. Though you want to get rid of the floor because um, you just want the light cycle at this moment. So just unclick those two, and also you can see these are pixely a bit. So you might want to you might want to um make them more realistic kind of so you do this by clicking on the mesh going down to this bit down here and clicking 180 auto smooth and as you can see it auto smooths it compared to the other makes it more tron look like it makes it look like more of the tron uh the tron bike out out of Tron in the first film. After that you want to go export like that and you also want the floor so you're gonna to have to go like that and take away the bike and just export this floor by doing what I told you earlier. And I'm not gonna save this and so after that you'll go to set and you'll have your custom uh, bikes and floor in here. Just import the floor after you've imported the floor, you go to stage camera, set up camera, and try and place it wherever you want, wherever you feel is good. So I said here would probably be the best place. After that, I went to set, imported the light cycle, um, and then shrunk that down a bit because it was really huge. So just shrink it down to where you wanted it. And then after you've got everything ready and where you wanted your camera and your uh, light cycle, you go down to this little scrubber down here and you push this forward and yours wouldn't be moving across what you'd have to do is just like get it and drag it across drag it across so that it um, moves across the screen like it's moving you're probably thinking don't we have to animate the wheels well you don't have to animate the wheels because in the real Tron film it doesn't look like the wheels are actually animating uh, well, uh, moving so it's okay and that's really all the animation and after that you just have to go to export and export AVI video uh, random hero objects I do 720p it's, it's like in the middle it's still HD and you just need to push this scrubber thing down to where you want your animation to end so export the same thing so after that's done you just 
have to do the effects, which I'll show you in After Effects. <laughs> 